we are out here at the People's Global Climate March, joined with uh, some very notable attendees. Can you guys introduce yourselves to our audience and let us know why you're out here? My name is Sophia Black D'Elia. Uh, I'm out here to support uh, our planet and um, and all these people marching today, and I'm really excited to be here. My name is Henry Joost. I'm a filmmaker, um, also out here to support the planet, and and um, you know I think this is the biggest struggle we face currently as a humanity right now. And how has climate change either impacted you directly or a community that you know directly? or environmental justice issues, people dealing with ongoing you know, water crisis like we see in Flint, Michigan and other communities and people dealing with a variety of things that impact public health in a very negative way. What are some of the issues that are important to you specifically? Um, I've, I, I grew up around uh, the North Fork of Long Island and I've seen it change even within my lifetime, just the changing populations of oysters and things like that and have traveled a lot. and worked on the documentary uh, Before the Flood and, and traveled w widely with that and saw the tar sands and how it impacted the indigenous people in Canada. Um, and it's just to it's totally undeniable what, what, this, um, what effect this is having on our planet. And I think it, it affects all of us. And it doesn't, doesn't mean you have to live uh, near the wilderness to be affected by it because we all experience the kind of runoff of, of climate change no matter where you live. I think part of the problem actually that we face is that sometimes you, it's not at your front door and so it's, it can be easier to ignore than something that you have to wake up and face every single day. And you know, we live in Brooklyn, New York, like we might not have to, if we didn't want to, we didn't have to think about it. And I think that that's part of why it's so important for everybody to be out here today and to bring awareness to something that, that can easily slide by if you let it. Given all the overwhelming evidence about how the planet is changing, how the seas are rising and acidification and the warming of the oceans, we have a man who is sitting in the White House who actually denies that some of this is happening. We have an administrator of the Environmental Protection Agency who doesn't want to admit that climate change is linked to human activity. What can we do in the face of such willful ignorance from those at the very top of our government? So really good question that I struggle with every day. Um, I, you know, I think that today is a, a perfect example of what we can do because these are men that are, are not serving the people's interests and, and that's why this is called the People's Climate March because it's about us uh, and it is our responsibility and it is our duty and um, if they're not going to take responsibility for it then we have to and um, I think that's why we're all here today. Yeah, I think, I mean, we have to, I don't know how to do this, but I, know, I, th I think we have to separate politics from climate change because it's real, somehow it became a partisan issue um, where, you know, it depends on which side of this struggle you're on, but really we're all sharing the same planet. We're all living in this big house together and we need to take care of it. And, you know, if someone doesn't uh, pick up the trash in your house, like, you know. Take you're, them out of the house? You're going to kick them out, but that's not an option. That's not an option I, yeah. either. Right. <laughs> Guys, thank you both so much thank for speaking you. with us. Thank you. thank you. Nice to meet you.